Amy from Doodle Doll Primitives and today I'm going to give you an introduction to the Ultra Punch Needle. I will show you how to change the needle tip, how to thread the needle, and how to change the punching depth. Let's get started! When you get your Ultra Punch Needle, it will come with a couple of threaders, the punch needle tool, extra needles, and an extra spring. Now the needles are three different sizes. You have a small, medium, and large. The small is good for punching two to three strands of embroidery floss, the medium for three to six strands of embroidery floss, and the large for six strands or some really thin silky ribbon. In order to tell which size punch needle tip you have, in the on each needle on the blue plastic part there is a small little circle that's imprinted on it and in the middle of the circle has the a letter. It's small, S for small, M for medium, and L for large. This one is large. If you want to change the needle tips, you take the tool and you see the little silver ball there. You're going to take the end of the tube and push in and move that silver ball up around this groove and out here and it will all come apart. Then you take the spring off and then you're going to just twist this needle tip off and then you can see it's got a hole in the end of the tool and this matches exactly. So to put a different one on, the small and the medium tips you use this spring with the end that's narrower and the large you use this spring here. So let's change to this tip which is the small. So you want to take the tip and this tube right here and slide the tip into that hole and twist it. And then you need to take the spring and slide it over, making sure that the needle tip comes through the very end of the spring. And then you're going to slide the outer tube over and again line up that little silver piece with the shaft and bring it in. And then if you want to punch, you just put it up here to whatever punching depth you want. The There's numbers, 1, 2, 3, up to 12, and the higher the number, the more the needle goes out, which will make a longer loop when you're punching. So if you want to punch something really fluffy, you would want a higher loop, and if you want to punch something smaller, shorter, you would do a lower number. Normally when I'm punching normal I do a anywhere a two or a three usually. I'll show you here this Uncle Sam. I have punched him with three, the setting number three, except for his beard and his hair, which I did with a punch setting of seven. So you can see how it gives it a fluffier look there on his beard and his hair. Now I will show you how to thread the needle. I'm going to use three strands of DMC floss, which I like to store on these little paper bobbins. So you take the threader and put it through the hole here, all the way through the shaft so it comes out the other end. Then put the thread, the floss, through and then pull it out here. And then you have to take, there's a needle tip right here, a hole in it. You want to go from this, this back side has a groove and you're going to go from the front curved side through to the back side where the thread is with your threader. You're going to go through the eye of the needle with the threader and put the thread
through the threader and pull it back through the eye of the needle. And then it's ready to start punching. You can adjust your punching height depth after you thread it to whatever you want. Now you should be able to change your needle tip, thread your needle, and get started punching. I'll see you next time. Bye.